What's going on folks, Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and it's survey time again. First of all, also I have new lights and a new camera, so let me know what you think. Try to get a little more realistic color in here. Uh, but Wizards of the Coast has released a survey. Uh, full stop, I actually took the survey already, but OBS decided to just not record it, so we're doing it again. Uh, before we dive into that though, I wanted to talk to you about the sponsor for today's video, our returning friends over at Describe. If you're unfamiliar, it is a place to have finely crafted box text for use in your fantasy RPG uh, game. And it basically takes a lot of the descriptive time and, and effort away from you, the DM, or even in some instances, the player, and gives that to a team of writers whose whole job is basically to do that for you. You can see they have over 3,400 scenes here from a variety of different things. And one that I like here is this wizard casting the shield spell to avoid an attack because it's actually written in the first person. So if you were to try to do this, you could say, raising my bare hand against the devastating attack, I see my companions wince as they expect, uh, expect to see me cut down where I stand. Murmuring an arcane syllable while I twist my fingers into the prescribed shapes, sparks fly as the attack smashes into an invisible plane of force mere inches in front of me. So there's stuff like this starting to appear too where you can use this as you as the character describing cool things. They also do have a huge giveaway, which I just closed like a silly billy, but we're gonna open it back up over here, which is a $390 value, and it's currently a whole uh, one year of, I think it's Sepeku's Patreon, Mr. Rex merch pack, and a whole year's hero subscription to uh, Describe, but also a full event Gen Con pass for either 2021 or 2022, whichever you pick in person or virtual. So you have options there if you're not comfortable with heading out to Gen Con, although Gen Con did just update their masking policy. Uh, but yeah, there's a variety of different ways you can, uh, you know, subscribe to Describe. And if you do decide to do that, there's a link in the top of the description, which is my personal referral link and a coupon code Nerd Immersion to get 10% off your first purchase. So thank you, Describe. Let's go into the survey. Full stop, about half of this is about Magic the Gathering not a lot about Dungeons and Dragons, and almost none, at least from what I saw the first go through, has anything to do with Magic the Gathering Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, which is why I thought. And full stop, I wanted to show that this is from the Dungeons and Dragons team. It says it right there. It says, take our latest survey. So it's not like a Wizards of the Coast Hasbro survey. It is supposed to be Dungeons and Dragons. So as far as Magic the Gathering, I used to play, and I've never played online. Uh, I currently play Dungeons and Dragons, and I've played Baldur's Gate. Moving on. I have played Baldur's Gate, like you just asked me. I haven't played since, like, 95, but I liked green and black decks back in the day. When's the last time I played the following? Again, over a year ago. When did I start playing? 95. And then, for some reason, the month is important, so I just picked March randomly. I've never participated in a tournament. I was, last time I played, I was like eight. I don't know. Uh, how do I prefer to play Magic? I'm going to skip this question and say I don't have a favorite because when I was playing Magic, there wasn't varieties on how you could play, really. It was, you just play Magic. Now, we, we could make up rules, but that was just how it is. The last time I purchased anything Magic-related, it was at a local shop, which was the Adventures in Forgotten Realms cards for the unboxing. I used to be a fan, so I'm going to skip my relationship to it. I also don't like uh, how likely am I to recommend Magic the Gathering to someone else because I just said that I used to be a fan. It would be really nice if we had like an NA option on the side. So I'm going to say not likely because I don't feel like I would recommend Magic the Gathering to folks. And I'm going to say it's a time and money sink. I have D&D &D for that, which is true. Okay. I dislike the game, I guess. Again, I don't have a not applicable option for how I feel about it or tabletop magic, so I'm going to say I guess I dislike it. Uh, I I guess Magic the Gathering is holding its ground. I don't know because I already established that I used to play. Now we're in a D&D &D question. When did I start playing D&D? &D? That year was 2004. I've played third and fifth. Uh, which edition did I play first? Third. When was the last time I played... These are different questions, by the way, than I had last time. When was the last time you played any version of D&D? 
within the last month, within the last month. I've missed last week. You know what I'm just going to say within the last week? Because we would have played last week, and I usually do play weekly. There was just happened to be uh, an unfortunate personal circumstance that didn't allow us to play last week. Next. Do I own? Uh, I own physical printed, and I also own digital versions of these. Click next. What classes do you prefer to play? Paladin, Cleric, Wizard. If they gave me a fourth option, I would pick Bard. And Elf, Half Elf. And I was torn originally between Human and Tiefling, but I'll just use Tiefling. Satyr's not an option. Have I ever been a DM? Yes. I first DM'd in 2008. In the past year, it's been about 90% of my time. And I'm a big fan of D&D Tabletop and 5e. And I'm very likely to recommend it to people. Um, I love this game and I love 5e. Regardless of how much I do shit on it, I do love it. I do think Dungeons and Dragons and 5e are on their way up. I'm 35. man and that's the whole survey it is a little unfortunate that they didn't include like you know last time they had like what's your salary what's your education um but i also like at the end of a survey when they kind of include a block that's just like do you have anything else you'd like to say because i had other things i would like to have said um but i'm wondering if you were a more current magic the gathering player did you get a different survey with different questions about magic the gathering how much you spend what do you think of you know, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms? Things like that. Uh, and then again, so please sound off in the comments if you had a different survey experience than I did. Because I'm curious, because again, they, some, they sort of shadow teased that original virtual tabletop in a survey. So, who knows? Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, Describe, for sponsoring this video. And I will see you all next time.